Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, for those that don't know me, I work for Software Cornwall, and I've been with Software Cornwall for two years now. I am currently the project coordinator for our employer-led skills EU funded project. This is one of a few different projects that we are delivering to help the growing software sector in Cornwall. The project is widely led by Cornwall Marine Network, and we are focusing on the software sector and the specialist skills needed within it. To qualify for funding from this project, individuals have to be able to evidence that they have the right to work and live in the EU and are currently employed or recently made redundant. Uh, we hope this project will provide and part fund great opportunities for businesses and individuals in the software sector in Cornwall. Our aim is to give you access to specialist training that isn't widely available in local education establishments. As an organisation, we keep hearing that there are certain key skills missing in the sector, and we want this project to help you find the hidden skills within your teams. To do this, we need your help identifying what training will benefit your business or your career. We have recently linked up with Cornwall Skills Hub, who are able to meet with businesses and carry out skills reviews with you. Any areas identified that we are able to help with are then passed back to us to action and see if we are able to deliver them for you. Our next scheduled training event in Developer Security Essentials will take place in January 2021. Part funded tickets are available now via our website. We are also currently looking at running at the end of November an introduction to Docker training delivered by Craig Buckler. Um, to find out more about our upcoming training, please visit our website. We've got a skills section on the website where we keep up to date with any training that we've, we've got coming up um, or just get in touch with me and ping me an email. Um, that's it really in short and I'll pass you over to Josh. Thank you. Hi everyone. Thanks Kaylee. I'm going to right. attempt to share screen and show some images. I think you should be able to see that. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then go large. So just let you know who the Skills Hub is, if you're not aware of us, and then how we'll uh, how we'll approach uncovering all of the skills needs that uh, the software industry in Cornwall or software developers in Cornwall have got. So Skills Hub is an ESF funded project. So same as the employer led skills with Software Cornwall. And we're here till 2023 uh, and really chuffed to have this partnership. So we've got capacity and we've got connectors, skills connectors who will go out and have conversations with all of the businesses who want a skills review. Uh, but the question is, what, earth, what the hell is a skills review? Uh, it, we've just made up that word. So it's a, it, the boring phrase is training needs analysis. So that's the bit that we'll come and do. And what you'll get is a conversation with an independent an impartial skills expert. So we don't deliver any training. We just find out what the skills needs you guys have. And then we'll connect with all of the training providers in order to find preferably no cost or low cost solutions. Uh, and we do that. So essentially, yeah, we have to interrogate your business, but we do it in a curious and kind approach. So we're, we're very open, lots of open questions, but in order to quickly build rapport and get down to the fine detail, because uh, what we tend to find is people have, well, they tell us what they want, and it's kind of our job to use that curious and kind approach to find out what they need as well. So we'll explore a split between both the software skills, so the development skills, uh, but also business management, business development skills. So, so how can you grow the business, develop the business, move the, the, your people forward, but also the connection with Software Cornwall around, well, what are the missing tech skills in the business? We use what we're terming a productivity lens. So certainly with the business management skills, the question is always, well, how, how will that uh, make the boat go faster? So how will that make you more efficient? Uh, uh, when I used to work in charity tech, we had the phrase of, uh, it, all technology needs to, to do better things or do things better. And I think that that is also our approach that we, we want to be sure that anything we bring to you will do better things for you. Having had those conversations, we'll develop a shared training action plan. 
uh, with you as the business or with the business owner. Uh, and within that, that will have the software skills and the business management skills that you've said you need. And we'll share that with Software Cornwall. So Kaylee and the team will get that in order to then take it away, uh, unbundle it and be able to deliver brand new sessions, fresh sessions that directly meet the needs of the business. So yeah, number six is that's where the magic happens. Cool. So I'm going to possibly shoot myself in the foot and do the job in the next three minutes that should take us the, the next um, three years. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing and move to a different screen. But if you've got access to the Internet, which I suspect you have, can you go to menti.com? And all right, share and desktop. Share. And I'm going to give you a code. Can you see the screen there? So you've got my Google Chrome. Yeah. And let me try and make that go to present mode. So yeah, you can see that. So if you can prepare yourself for the world's fastest skills review, at the top of the screen, you've got a code. So if you've gone to menti.com, the code is 58995375. So, okay, it looks like people are landing. I'm going to flick to the next screen, which will open it up. I think, yeah. So this is an open question, and I want you to say what your biggest skills challenge is. So that can either be software-ness, so tech skills, or uh, business skills. And it is, yeah, free text, so just type it in. And what should happen, in theory, is we'll get a little word cloud popping up. at some point. Okay, there we are. Software developers, office admin. <laughs> yeah, we already have a theme, but it hasn't connected the words. Yeah, business skills, web hosting, recruitment. Wow, well, yeah, Jamstack developer, I'm out of depth here. User center design, yeah, that comes up a few times. Digital business skills. Cool. So that's eight. Looks like eighteen people have fed through. Um, attract talent. Yeah, recruitment apprentices. Brilliant. I think actually that people are using slightly different words. So it'd be what I'll do is capture this, and the uh, software Cornwall team can turn that into a bit of a, a bigger word cloud. But clearly, what's coming? Yeah, design thinking. That's interesting. But software and development uh, and developers are the biggest thing. So there's. There is a well, it, isn't it good that we've got the employer led skills project on board to help um, design some solutions around that? So, I'm going to close this one off and move to the next one. So, the next one is the business skills side, uh, and it will ask you to score yourself out of six. So, you can't have the, the three as the middle. Um, Score yourself out of six, whether you disagree or agree. So six is you strongly agree. And the question is, do you have these skills within your business? So do you have strategy and vision, longer term thinking? Are you uh, next level at marketing at sales? Do you have financial competence? Uh, do you know the numbers? How productive are you? And do you have strong leaders? So I think got one answer there. Someone's powering it up there, right up in the uh, fives and sixes. Should put are you humble in here because everyone's gone right to the right to the edge yeah marketing and sales is dropping Ooh. yeah it looks like marketing and sales so that's 15 answers come in that's pretty strong actually so that's everyone moving towards strongly agree i'll give it a couple of seconds to go Yeah, that's stabilized. So that's really interesting. So, so what? Yeah, what you're seeing from this group, and it tends to be different with lots of lots of different groups, is that that you've got the longer term thinking, uh, but actually getting the message out there and committing to sales uh, is a challenge. And then financial competence looks like that's fairly medium. Um, so there's clearly work around understanding the numbers. Efficiency and productivity is right up towards the right hand side in the main. So that's really good. 
uh, and leadership, leadership as well. I suspect we've got the uh, the leaders in the room here, um, so maybe we need to talk to the team to be to, to get a better sense of that answer. But yeah, look at that number. Uh, Ten people have gone uh, have said there. Six strongly agree that they got leaders. Interesting. Uh, so we'll capture all of this and and share it round. Um, but in essence, in, in very going to stop sharing the screen. It, very quickly, that gives us a rapid sense of what the skills needs are in terms of the technology tech issues, uh, but also in terms of the business issues, um, which then helps us design the programs and connect with Software Cornwall. So thank you for playing. It's probably not as interesting a quiz as Zach was showing, um, but I think listening to what he said about putting out fires, uh, and I think on, on the, the, the skills front, you can almost allow us to put out those, those um, skills fires for you. Um, and also struck by what Zach said about ever increasing skills. So you might bring someone in a certain period of time to do a certain job, but as the business evolves, are they the right person or do they need a little bit of a boost and a leg up maybe to be a team leader when they were just a, an operator before? Um, so I think there's all of those things to, to think about. And those are the elements of our curious and kind approach that, that we'll bring. And that's me. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for listening. Huge round of applause for Josh. Thanks, Josh. Now that that was a rapid fire training needs analysis uh, from Josh for two reasons. One, because this was a short and sharp session today. And two, because this is actually Josh's last day with the Cornwall Growth Skills Hub before he moves on to a new adventure. So if you have a cup of coffee or similar, please join me in raising a glass and saying <laughs> thank you, to Josh, for all the hard work over recent years. Thank you very um, much. Now your last official act has been done, you can take the rest of the afternoon off i guess yeah down the gin down the gin <laughs> rockstar lifestyle <laughs>